how do swimming pool solar controllers work? These are really clever little guys. Solar controllers uh, basically work on differential temperature. Um, they have all sorts of different controllers, but all of them have the same principle. And that is, you notice here, there's two temperature sensor leads. These are a bit rushy, rusty, but there's two temperature sensor leads here. One um, goes down and mounts in just here nice and close. This one is um, checking the temperature of your pool water down here before it goes into the solar pump. It's the solar pump. And the other one, the other sensor lead will actually run all the way up, we've got plenty of lead left over there, all the way up onto the roof in order to um, check the temperature up on the roof. And then when there's a differential temperature between the swimming pool and the solar um, sensor down here at the pump, it will run the solar. So whenever there's potential from the sun to heat your pool, this will turn on and actually heat your swimming pool. So if you've got a solar heater on your swimming pool, these are fantastic because if you've got, even on a sunny day, if you're doing it manually, you turn it on, you'll get periods of cloud, or maybe the sun will go away in the afternoon, you won't turn it off quite quick enough, and your solar will actually be running and cooling your pool. So with a solar controller in place, um, that's an excellent way to go, because it'll always pick the maximum efficiency. If there's potential to heat your pool, it'll turn on, um, and if that potential goes away, it'll turn it off, so you won't actually be pumping water up onto the roof and cooling it down. So there you go. You got the temperature set you can you know determine how what temperature it'll turn off at so it doesn't the solar doesn't take your pool too hot um, you've got your manual and auto buttons there and all the rest of it on off um, and this one here has a digital display to actually give a readout of the roof temperature the pool temperature and the set temperature so this is a bit of a fancy one here and again that pool temperature will only be accurate when you're actually running the pump because it's a temperature sensor going in right there at the front of the pump. So you have to put it on to manual if you want to check out exactly what your pool temperature is. Um, solar controllers can also work uh, if you don't have a separate solar pump. This guy here has a pump for the pump and filter and it has a separate solar pump here, an independent circuit. That is the best way to go uh, because otherwise the solar controller is determining how much filtration your pool gets and, and that's probably not a good idea, particularly if you've got automatic chlorination like a salt water chlorinator, then um, that's not going to work out too well for you. Uh, you can get it so that this, there are systems you can do, for instance, you can have the time clock, the salt water chlorinator running during the day and um, have the actual Davy solar controller operating a valve so that in that daylight hours when the chlorinator is running anyway, the solar controller can operate a valve which will turn and cause the water to go up onto the solar and turn back um, when there's no potential to hit your pool. So it can be done that way as well, but those valves are a little bit unreliable and that don't tend to last that long. So there you go, that's the operation of a solar controller. One temperature sensor up on the roof, one temperature sensor down in front of the pump, and uh, it hits your pool whenever there's the potential to do that.